In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the manual varifocal lens on the 4M48 camera. So this is a dome camera, and all of the dome cameras come with this included tool. Now, I've, I've already loosened the screws here, but you're, you'll see there's three screws that need to be loosened in order to get this dome cover off. And we'll just take the dome cover off, but you'll want to make sure that those are loose so that you can pull the dome cover off. So on the inside of here, we can see that we have the dome open and here is an open space where the lens controls actually are. We've already got a small flathead screwdriver here to adjust them. And you can also finger tighten them, but in order to loosen them, they're a little tight from the factory, so you do have to use the screwdriver here. So we'll go ahead and loosen the top one here. And we'll loosen the bottom one. You don't want to go too loose with these because then they'll come out and you have to try and screw them back in, which can be a little difficult. But here you can see that we have two knobs here and it's hard to see the lettering in here, but there is lettering at the top. We see on the left it says F to the left and it does say N to the right. So F means far, N means near. And then down here we have the T to the left, which means tele or zoom in. And then we have W on the right, which means wide or zoom out. So I've already loosened these and I can you know loosen them more or tighten them with my fingers here but you want to make sure they're loose enough so that you can adjust them but not loose enough to where they come out. So now you can see I can freely adjust the focus on the top. And then when I'm done I can then finger tighten it. You don't necessarily have to tighten it back in with a screwdriver unless you feel that it will, will adjust and then we can also adjust the zoom on the bottom. Just back and forth lightly. You don't want to force anything and you don't want to do it too quickly. So then I've got it in the right zoom and focus position. So I'm just going to again finger tighten these, make sure that they're tight enough to not move. And I've successfully adjusted the zoom and focus on this camera. Now, of course, after you're done with that, you're going to want to replace your dome cover on and make sure that all three of these screws are as tight as possible to avoid any moisture penetration. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.